Sea todo el mundo bienvenido. Las preguntas comenzarán en breve. Y con esto... We welcome you to one of the great football cities anywhere in the world. And these two sides are certainly two of the biggest in Spain with fans who really care. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action from the Metropolitano as Atletico take on Real Madrid. And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu, here in the Spanish capital, Madrid. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we should have a tremendous game of football. It's Atletico Madrid taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Exciting, come on, let's see some entertainment. Best. They've regained possession. And here are the starters for Atletico. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. What are your views on this kind of 4-3-3? Well, I'm not too sure the false nine works for me, but they've got to get men into the box. They've got the width on the side. Can they get enough players into the box with a narrow midfield? The full-backs will help provide the defensive solidity behind. Excellent challenge. Best. And Jovic now. Mane George Best going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss now Felipe Anderson giving the ball away so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here real chance might still be able to do a bit of damage he knows the defensive side of the game so well Savic goalkeepers live a charmed life at time but that was just brilliant really really good goalkeeping is he down oh, that difficult for Oblak to save Real Madrid get the throw in Zidane on the ball Luka Jovic Now Zidane and Jovic now. Bruno Fernandes on to best. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Really top class goalkeeping from Jan Oblak. He's driven in the corner. Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes absolutely brilliant. Hermoso. Savage now. And given away by Atletico. And attempting the through ball. And here's Joshua Kimi. Best. The opening goal. Due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing he can do. A huge deflection, keeper no chance. And they're playing once more. Real Madrid with the lead here. Roberto Carlos cleverly intervening. 
Kimmich with it. Not what he was intending, bad pass. A lot of momentum to this Atletico attack. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Won it back. This might be ideal for the counter. Luka Jovic. Bruno Fernandes has it. Bruno Fernandes. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? This Atletico side just needs to up the tempo a little bit in the second half. A wonderful chance! Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. And a half-baked clearance. Now Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes has it. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Bruno Fernandes might be dangerous. Casemiro. George Best. Kimi. And return to Best. Koke with it. Here's Insigne. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Looks as though they might make real progress. It's a weighted pass. An impressive break, but not the finish. Yeah, poor finishing, but a devastating break to set up the chance in the first place. And the first half is in the history book. The teams have switched around, and it's Real Madrid to begin the second half. Militao, Kuribali, now Casemiro, Luka Jovic, just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance, Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes, it's got to be, and it's in, Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, it's just great play, Derek. The movement off the ball is key. So many options for the passer to choose from. Lovely goal. It's going their way. 2-0. Thomas now. Roberto Carlos in position to intercept. Real Madrid are totally dominating possession. Don't control the ball in midfield. It's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. Can they get in behind them? Terrific block there. Read it superbly to take back possession. Atletico Madrid dipping into the transfer market. Not a great surprise, but exciting news for their fans, Lee. Well, yeah, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two. Seems to have a bright future ahead of him, he really does. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move for him and he can continue his development. Best. On to Zidane. Can they convert? It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Felipe Anderson. Renan Lodi. Keeping the ball moving. Felipe Anderson. Useful ball to the near post. Simple for the keeper. 
given away by Real Madrid. Oh, tremendous vision. Correa. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. Atletico are going to make use of not one, but two substitutes. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Now Casemiro. Zidane on the ball. Best. Kimmich. And that was a very fine read. Koke with it. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Felipe Anderson. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Corner kick played in. And across the byline, a goal kick as a result. However you slice it, it really has been a positive contribution from midfield Lee. Well, as we can see, he's been all over this game. He's covered every blade of grass. He's ran the show. And an assist to his name, too. A wonderful performance. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Sadio Mane now. Azar. Now Casemiro. Mane. Best. Kimi. Casemiro. Mane. On to Bruno Fernandes. Danger averted. Valverde. Hazard. Mane. Nothing to take on the shot. Well, body in the way. Possession lost, intercepted. It is an Atletico substitution. Run it magnificently and intercepted. Kimmich. Valverde. Terrific block there. Well, let's make no bones about it. This is a thorough thrashing lead. Well, I can't give more than 5 out of 10 for Atleti's performance today. Really not good enough at all. Very disjointed team performance. No cohesion. Opportunity it is. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Hussein Awar. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Now Felipe Anderson. Roberto Carlos. Hazard. It's a weighted pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware. En primer lugar, muchas gracias por dedicar parte de su tiempo a contestar estas preguntas. Muchas gracias por...
The cameras love him, he loves the cameras. Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, he's now the top scorer in the league. Wonderful even by his high standards. Here he goes again, and it's live. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, in the commentary position. It's La Liga action coming up very shortly for you. It's Zaragoza against Real Madrid. Yeah, we'll buzz around this ground. Full house, a lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Hazard. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone frontman. This for the lead. It's bounced back off the bar. Real Madrid, their whole history really based on attractive football and goal scoring, and this side isn't disappointing in that respect. Well, they play such an open, expansive game, it does leave them vulnerable at times, but they've just been outscoring the opposition. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Bruno Fernandes starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. It's about finding the right pass now. Hazard, Bruno Fernandes. A real chance here, and he scored for Real Madrid. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. So the first goal, it's 1-0. At the Anoeta today is Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about Alan. It's a goal for Villarreal. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Kagawa. A chance to break away now on the counter. Shreds it through. Good chance. Well, hand onto it, the keeper. Oh, the goalkeeper puffs out his cheeks because that was a bit easier. But the other save was superb. Well, that's what they work on in training, don't they? These double saves, getting back on the feet, back into position. Can go in from here. Oh, he's through. Hazard! He's blocked that well. Zidane with an interception here. Real Madrid given the throw here. They can spread the play now. Zidane, striding forward, purposefully. Towards best. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. Well, he was on his toes. The defenders were on the heels. Good take. Restarting at 2-0. Real Madrid. Well, Real, as usual, controlling possession today. And it's been a really impressive performance, the way they've used the width of the pitch. They've swung some really good crosses in. The strikers have been on top of the game. Just a period of keeping the ball for the team that are winning the match. That's good passing, probing. Made down the wing, keeping the wide. Zidane! Opportunity here! Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Well, they talk about moving the ball quickly. That's what they've done here to open up the defence. Some great passing and a terrific finish. Yeah, I think he knew what he was going to do before the ball came to him. All good players have that in their locker. He moved it on swiftly. Shinji Kagawa. And Ronaldo, Fernandez. It's good attacking play this from them. And it's in for the goal. For Real Madrid, they're just emphasising their superiority and widening the margin. Yeah, I think so. And you look at their overall play, and they've deserved it. 
It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline, really, as we're underway again. Ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Shot up! That's a good block. There's been a goal, Alan mcanally has got news of it at the Wanda Metropolitana. It's a goal for Barcelona, 37 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. George Best. Attacking now. Bruno Fernandes, Best. Here's Casemiro, here's Zidane. Well, now it looks like a question of just how many they really are on top now, stretching the lead, looking like the real winners of this match. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, couldn't it straight away? Set up to play on the break now. Ronaldo, well, that's his second today. He's certainly got his shooting boots on, and he is the kind of player that can hit his straps like this. Excellent day for him. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get to it is special, and he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, this is a truly outstanding start to the game. A fantastic first half. Zidane. Now best. And that whistle means it's time for... You don't often get a first half as one-sided as this one. They've been very good team that are leading, of course. Read that well with the interception. Here's Kagawa. He's a danger, isn't he? He'll run in behind. He's run offside this time, though. Yeah, he's a nightmare for defenders. You can see them. They're a little bit twitchy, trying to keep him quiet. Able to intercept here. Well, that's what they've been looking for, the ball in behind. Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Still countering here. Very important piece of defending with the interception there. EA Sports news for you, we can bring you up to date with what's coming up. It's the Spanish Cup fixture, Real Zaragoza, they'll be hosting Osasuna. Yeah, always a spicy atmosphere between the two sets of fans and some good football in store, I think. He's gone in very fairly and won the ball cleanly. For Valencia and their supporters, some very good news today with the completion of this deal. Well, for about 25 million, I think that's a decent investment for a good player. Let's see how he settles in that squad. And here's the shot. Very good stop here. Swung in from the corner. The defender's done well here to clear the danger. It could work for the referee. Play on as an advantage. Fernandez. Fernandez got his foot in to cut out the pass. Here's Zidane. Azar. George Bet. It's a quick break. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. With Kalidou Koulibaly. Cristiano Ronaldo. Guided through. Here's Zidane. Some save that. Well, that is sheer instinct. His reflexes there were incredible. 
Corner played into the middle. Can finish it off. Really good. The keeper's done very well here. Well, you can see here, with those chances created, it's just a question of how many they're going to get. Really impressive performance by this team today. Cross driven in low. That's a very weak cross from a very good position. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Eder Militao. Made a quick interception. Read that well with the interception. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Now Kagawa. Rojas. Loses possession. He's through. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. Now Casimiro, Hazard and Ronaldo. It's rare in a match of this quality that one man can stand out so much, but this is the fella doing it. He's got real authority down there in the way that he's uh, manipulating that ball and, and starting moves. There's been a goal. Alan mcanally has got news of it at the Wanda Metropolitana. It's a goal. A wonderful spot from Zidane. Brilliant reach by the goalkeeper to make the save. Wow, I think even his defenders are shocked at that. Real Madrid win a corner. Just too high, just over with the header. Yeah, nice firm connection, unlucky. And look at the clock now, three minutes to go. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Cristiano Ronaldo, great vision from Ronaldo. Beautiful goal. No goal, flag up. Well, that assistant there, he was certain the flag went up straight away. Roberto Carlos. Valverde. Well, that's the end of the game. Zidane, striding forward. En primer lugar, querría agradecerle su tiempo para contestar a estas preguntas. Gracias, de verdad.
Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon and the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Osasuna facing Real Madrid. Cheers Derek, yes, excited about this one. Interesting matchup for me, we should get a good game here hopefully. Luka Jovic, it's with Erdogan. Ceballos, oh, a perfectly timed pass, a brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if we can nick an early goal, and they certainly have done. Wow, what technique. When the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this, what a goal. So, underway again with Real Madrid in front. And he was in the right place to intercept. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. A look at the table then, and for Real Betis, not exactly what their fans had in mind. And now, passing it through! Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. He's got space. And it's played into the centre. Clearing the lines. And so it will be a corner now. And he's fired over the corner. And they deal with the threat this time. Carvajal. A chance to whip it in. It's with Erdogan. Mane. Surely. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. It's going their way, 2-0. Luizinho, Fofana. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Mane. And Jovic now. Good visualisation and execution. The end product just wasn't there. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Corner given to Real Madrid. And firing it into the area. It's one corner after another. Luisinho. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? It's got to be. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Well, Derek is really, really unlucky there. He thought he'd scored. Will he get another chance? A really sumptuous ball, rifled against the post, but back in play. Off the frame of the goal earlier, but now the keeper has it and can exhale. David Seaman always said the woodwork was his best friend. Certainly helped the keeper out there. Brandon Thomas. Fofana. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. Real Madrid are totally dominating possession. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. They've regained possession. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Happy to take on the shot. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. 
And the use of technology here to verify the fact that it didn't cross. Pitched on ball. Won it back. Valverde. Luka Jovic. It's with Danny Ceballos. Giving them the gift of possession. Fofana. And he was in the right place to intercept. And the ball's gone. Martin Odegaard. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. On the ball, Reguilon. Sergio Ramos. Martin Odegaard. Can he take advantage? His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Play. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat trick. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Given away. Luka Jovic. And in with a real chance. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, just look at this. They all back off him, and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Blistering first-half display, and just look at that score. It's with Brandon Thomas. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Now, let's see what they can do here. Martin Odegaard. Now can they counter clinically? Sadio Mane now. Ceballos. And very deftly cut out. The first half here comes... Luka Jovic. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Rafael Varane. Martin Odegaard. Carvajal. It's with Odegaard. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And that was a very fine read. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. He takes aim and putting his body on the line. Irigoyen. Making progress. Has a go. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. It comes to nothing. Sadio Mane now. Well, there's nothing quite like the magic of the cup. And we have the round of 16 to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Osasuna against Real Betis. Yeah, just 16 teams remaining now. And I think both teams will be looking at that match thinking we're just a handful of games away from the final. Big game that one, Derek. Don't forget there's live cup action from the round of 16 cup. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. It didn't happen for them. Yeah. 
And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Raul, a good and fair challenge. I think we suspected this story had legs. Now we can say it is 100% official. Federico Bernardeschi has completed his move to Dortmund. Well, Derek, reported fee close to £25 million. He's not bad. He should have an impact. I quite like him. And that's an important intervention. Tremblay, Martin Odegaard, and the emphasis is on creativity. Went in strongly, decisively. Fofana. Inigo Perez. Irigoyen. Real danger. Well, they keep working away, looking for Pump. Keeper's contribution, but what next? And the keeper has custody of the ball, but just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, keep hold of it. Have a breather, because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap. Raul. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Corner kick played in. Well, the header didn't exactly go to plan. Well, I'm not sure what he did there, but he caught it on the top of his head. But whatever he did, it was a poor attempt. Substitution for Real Madrid. 15 minutes remaining. Danny Ceballos. On the ball, Reguilon. Kimi. And he's taken it away. Fofana. This is Varan. Reguilon. It's with Danny Ceballos. Raul. Now let's see what they can do here. Can he take the chance? Oh, that was simply miles off target. Dear me. Oh, close your eyes when you're watching this one. It's horrific. Given away by Real Madrid. Raul on the ball. Carvajal. Corner for Real Madrid. He's driven in the corner. Just couldn't capitalise there. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Koulibaly. Couldn't keep it. Raul. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Fruitful looking attack. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Mane. An awful lot of green space to run into. Raul. Good visualisation and execution. And now the delivery. Attending to his defensive chores. It's with Danny Ceballos. And there it is, the final... Luka Jovic. Gracias por su tiempo. Le agradezco que haya aceptado contestar a estas preguntas. Gracias otra vez. Everyone roll through Don't matter where I go As long as I go with you I swear daylight comes too soon
Daylight comes too soon. Eyes where daylight comes too soon. After party, everyone rolls through. No matter where I go, as long as I go. Las preguntas darán comienzo enseguida. Gracias por esperar. Y con esto...